Uh, what vibration characteristic do you measure? So first we have the amplitude. Amplitude literally is how much movement is occurring. As you could see here from is from here to there. Sorry, whenever I switch this move the video it would stop. So I will take it back. So as you see it here, and then we have uh, frequency is how often is this happening and I need to remind you about one thing vibration yes it does occur all the time and it's extremely normal excessive vibration it is really worrying and this is what we should be worried from and about okay uh, as amplitude is how much movement and as we said frequency is it happening like really quick uh, how often is this happening? Is it like one cycle per second? Uh, so this is a cycle. As you could see, it is sinusoidal. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. And the phase in which direction it is happening. Okay. And when we measure amplitude, I'm going to show it to you in a second. When we measure amplitude, it's about displacement. Okay. Distance. This is moving. It's about the speed as velocity how often it is moving is doing the cycle and acceleration acceleration is the amount of uh, I need to remind you acceleration is simply okay uh, forces that causing the backward and forward movement uh, to do the vibration because when the bearing and the shaft they vibrate the whole body uh, or gearbox it has to exercise force to make things return to its position otherwise uh, it become loose it dis disassemble so the system has to exercise force to make things return to its original position okay I'm gonna show you gonna show you this here we have a displacement as you could see here it goes up all the way to here it goes up all the way to here I will draw it and then I will stop it it goes all the way up here it goes up and down, up and down, up and down ok so it goes all the way up to here and then it exercise force to bring it back to here and then exercise force to bring it back to here concerning the speed is extremely important where would the speed be maximum where would the speed be minimum the speed would be maximum right in the middle why because it goes all the way in this direction it accelerate so when it get here um, which is the resting position it, it, it figures out that it must stop so it start decreasing its speed okay to reverse direction it decreases the speed the speed is equal to zero so it gets to here to reverse direction and then it start uh, to increase the speed till it get back to here just to make it go back to the where it was and then it misses the resting position so it passes the resting position and it start decreasing again all the way back so it increase when it's heading towards the resting and decrease when it is heading far away from the resting position